friends, good morning. Welcome to Sensory Storytime. It's so good to know that you're out there. I miss you all very much and I'm glad that we are here today. Um, I'm not sure if I started talking too soon, but basically if you missed anything, all I said was good morning and welcome and I'm so glad you're here. And um, the only kids that I have here participating are my two cats. I don't know if you just saw their their tails passing through, but they might they might join us. I can't be at the library today, but we are still doing story time. So it might look a little different because all of my story time things are back at the library. So I don't have my timeline, but we are going to do all the same things that we usually do. We're going to start with our welcome song, then we're going to read a book. And then we are going to do another song. Then we are going to read our second book. And of course, just like always, we are going to do a shaker song, um, the shaker song. And then we will do a song with scarves. And then we will do bubbles. And everything's going to be a little different because I had to make um, some changes for the things that I had around my house but that's something that we've been working on for the last few months anyway. So let's start by singing our welcome song. We're so glad that you're all here this morning. We're gonna start with, um, we have lots of friends joining us today and I'm so glad that you're here. We're gonna start with our friends, Brayden and Kaylin. Let's all clap, cause Brayden is here. Brayden is here, Brayden is here. Let's all clap, cause Brayden is here. Brayden is here today. Let's all clap, cause Kaylin is here. Kaylin is here, Kaylin is here. Let's all clap, cause Kaylin is here. Kaylin is here today. Let's all clap, cause Casey is here. Casey is here, Casey is here. Let's all clap, cause Casey is here. Casey is here today. Let's all clap, cause Lorenzo is here. Lorenzo is here. Lorenzo is here. Let's all clap, cause Lorenzo is here. Lorenzo is here today. Let's all clap, cause Luca is here. Luca is here. Luca is here. Let's all clap, cause Luca is here. Luca is here today. Let's all clap, cause Eva is here. Eva is here. Eva is here. Let's all clap, cause Eva is here. Eva is here today. Let's all clap, cause Ben is here. Ben is here. Ben is here. Let's all clap, cause Ben is here. Ben is here today. Welcome, everyone. We're so glad you're here. Today, I chose two books that I didn't get from the library. I got them from my house, and they are two books that were my kids' favorites when they were your age, and they are all teenagers now. They're 15, 17, and 19, so these books are a little bit older, but they are still fantastic, and I hope that you will enjoy them as much as my kiddos did. The first one is called, I'm a Pig! It's by Sarah Weeks, and it's illustrated by Holly Berry. I'm going to come close so you can see the pictures. And I'm going to read it with permission of the publisher, Harper Collins. I'm a pig. There we go. If you call me a pig, because that's what I am. I'm a pig. I'm a pig. And I'm happy as a clam that I'm not an armadillo or a lion or a lamb. I'm a pig, I'm a pig, and I'll do a happy jig if you say, what a pig.
for there isn't any doubt. I'm a pig, I'm a pig, from my tail to my snout. And acting like a pig is what it's all about. I can oink at the moon. I can wallow in the mud. I can grin like a goon as I gobble down a spud. And I think to be pink is an honor and a treat. Besides, it goes so nicely with my shiny black feet. I'm a pig, I'm a pig, and my brain is very big. Nothing smarter than a pig. Look it up, it's true. I'm a pig, I'm a pig. And I don't blame you if you're blue. If I were only human, I'd be disappointed too. I can just lie around grunting grunts all day with my nose to the ground. Not a truffle gets away. And I feel I could squeal. I'm so happy to be me. A pig is just the absolutely perfect thing to be. I'm a pig, I'm a pig, and I don't give a fig if you call me a pig, cause that's what I am. I'm a pig, I'm a pig, and I'm happy as a clam that I'm not a little puppy, or a guppy, or a camel, or a goose, or a moose, or a yellow-bellied mammal. No, I'm not an armadillo, or a lion, or a lamb. I am simply tickled pink to be exactly what I am. There's a little pig. And I hope all of you are tickled pink to be exactly who you are. Because who you are is wonderful. All right, we are going to do a little thing to get moving. Um, we are going to do all kinds of wiggling and clapping and different things to get moving. You guys might remember this when we do this a lot when we're in the library together. We'll start with clapping because that's the easy one. Everyone can clap, 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 clap. Everyone can clap, 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 here at story time. Everyone can clap, 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 clap. Everyone can clap, 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 here at story time. Everyone can shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake. Everyone can shake, shake, shake. Here at story time. Everyone can pat, 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 pat. Everyone can pat, pat, pat. Here at story time. Everyone can wiggle, 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 wiggle. Everyone can wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Here at story time. Everyone can Everyone can Here at story time Everyone can spin around Spin around Spin around Everyone can spin around Here at story time Whoa, I'm dizzy! Everyone can sit back down, sit back down, sit back down. Everyone can sit back down here at story time. Thank you, my friends. Wow, I'm still a little bit dizzy. I hope my eyes get back to normal so I can read you our next book. This is another one that was a favorite of my kids.
It's called Peanut Butter Rhino. Let me come close again. This one is short for rhinoceros. Maybe you've heard a rhinoceros called a rhino, but have you ever heard of Peanut Butter Rhino? This is by Vincent Andriani, and I'm reading it to you with permission from the publisher, Scholastic. Today is the day that I have lunch with my good friend, Elephant. He snaps, closed his lunchbox. I'll just check my lunchbox to make sure I didn't forget anything. Let me see. A delicious peanut butter sandwich. An apple, some carrots, and a banana. Okay, everything's here. Do you see where he put his peanut butter sandwich? Squish! And now, time to open his lunchbox. Hey! Where's my peanut butter sandwich? Oh, my sandwich has got to be around here somewhere. Maybe it's under this rock. Where is his sandwich? Monkey, have you seen my peanut butter sandwich? No, I haven't, Rhino, but I will help you look for it. It's not up here in this tree. Oh my goodness. Lion, have you seen my peanut butter sandwich? No, I haven't, Rhino, but I will help you look for it. And Monkey says, it's not up in this tree. It's not in this cave. No sandwich up in this tree. Poor Rhino. Sorry, Rhino. There's no peanut butter sandwich here. Just some old cheese. It's no use. I've lost it. I'll just have to go see Elephant without my most wonderful peanut butter sandwich. Excuse me, Rhino, but why is there a squished peanut butter sandwich on your bottom? <gasps> squished? Good thing I brought two peanut butter sandwiches. One for me and one for you. Hooray! Yippee! Look, that's the one that was squished on Rhino's bottom. Good thing Rhino had such a good friend to bring along an extra peanut butter sandwich. Have you ever sat on something sticky that stuck to your bottom? Like Rhino's peanut butter sandwich? I hope not. What a sticky mess. But Rhino had a good friend to share for their picnic lunch. All right, my friends, thank you for joining me for two of my own kids' favorite books when they were younger. Now we are ready to do a scarf song. And just like I say every week, you can use anything that you can wave around to be your scarf. So you can use a story time scarf, or you can use a tissue, or you can use a bandana, or you can use a paper napkin or a cloth napkin, or I think this is a part of a curtain. I can't actually remember, but it's very scarfy. So it's what we're gonna use. We're gonna get all cleaned up. Are you ready? 
this is the way we wash our hands wash our hands wash our hands this is the way we wash our hands here at story time this is the way we wash our arms wash our arms wash our arms this is the way we wash our arms here at story time this is the way we wash our tummy wash our tummy wash our tummy this is the way we wash our tummy here at story time this is the way we wash our knees wash our knees wash our knees this is the way we wash our knees here at story time this is the way we wash our chin wash our chin wash our chin this is the way we wash our chin here at story time and this is something i really need to do this is the way we wash our glasses wash our glasses wash our glasses this is the way we wash our glasses here at story time maybe some of you have glasses maybe not that's better this is the way we wash our nose wash our nose wash our nose this is the way we wash our nose here at story time this is the way we wash our neck wash our neck wash our neck this is the way we wash our neck here at story time this is the way we wash our hair wash our hair wash our hair this is the way we wash our hair here at story time <coughs> excuse me what else what did we forget our ears this is the way we wash our ears wash our ears wash our ears this is the way we wash our ears here at story time <coughs> Sorry, I think this piece of curtain had dust in it. Let's see, what else? Do we do our elbows? We better do our elbows. This is the way we wash our elbows, wash our elbows, wash our elbows. This is the way we wash our elbows here at story time. And what would we need to do if we sat on a peanut butter sandwich? Yup. This is the way we wash our bottom, wash our bottom, wash our bottom. This is the way we wash our bottom here at story time. One more, our feet. This is the way we wash our feet, wash our feet, wash our feet. This is the way we wash our feet here at story time. All clean! We are all clean. And now that we did our scarf song, that means it's time for our shaker song. Today, for my shaker, I have rice in a little plastic container. And maybe you have a maraca or a rattle or a shaker egg. Or maybe you have something like this that you made. That you put rice or beans or something inside a container to make a shaker. Let's turn on our shaker song. And today I'm just using my phone, so hopefully it will be loud enough. It will give it a try. Not very loud. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Come on and shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on, shake it down. Come on, shake it all around. Shake it any way you want. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your toes. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your toes. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your toes. Come on. 
turn off my fan so it doesn't blow all the bubbles away and wait till you see what I have. My special story time bubbles are at the library. So look what I made. I put some straws together with a rubber band and I got some dish soap mixed with water. It's not going to be exactly like our normal story time bubbles but we'll see if I can still blow some bubbles for you. I'm going to cover up my computer here with that. There we go. Give it a try. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. Oh, there's one. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. Try again. There are bubbles in the air. There are bubbles everywhere, or, or here and there. There are bubbles in the air, here and there. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high. There are bubbles in the sky. There are bubbles way up high in the sky. There are bubbles way down low. Way down low. There are bubbles way down low. Oh, there's a bunch. Way down low. There are bubbles way down low. And they tickle on your toes. There are bubbles way down low. There's one. On your toes. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye. 
and the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye. And the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye until next time. And the bubbles say goodbye. Till next time. Well, that wasn't terrible. Got a few bubbles there. Thank you so much for joining me. And before we go, I just want to mention that if you haven't signed up for Summer Reading Club yet, you should. I know that um, my friends Luca and Lorenzo, who are watching, have definitely signed up. And you can keep track online of all of the things that you're reading. And if you participate in online programs like this one, like Sensory Storytime, you can put that in. There's um, a website called Beanstack. And if you go on the library website, you can find it. You can earn free books every single week for reading every week and for coming to Sensory Storytime. And you get raffle tickets, virtual tickets, for weekly raffle prizes and we already had somebody win um, some fairy dolls and a nerf gun and a giant penguin stuffy we have dozens of prizes that you could win and chances every week just for reading and for participating in online programs so I hope you'll go to our website and sign up for summer reading and um, oh I forgot one more thing you can write or draw book reviews Luca and Lorenzo have been very busy reading lots of books and writing book reviews. And then we put them up on our website without the child's name, or on the Beanstack website, so that other kids can find out what books they like or what books are about. So you're helping each other. And we're going to do another raffle drawing at the end of the summer for all of the um, book reviews. Every time you write, which means a parent can write what the child says, or you can draw a picture and upload it. You get a raffle ticket for a bonus raffle at the end of the summer. So go on your website. You can check out the list of free books that you have to choose from. You can check out our raffle prizes and you can find out how to sign up. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble. It's not the same as our usual summer reading club, but I'm really excited that we still have something that we can do for summer reading. So I hope you'll join us. And thank you, Luca and Lorenzo, for letting me use you as an example of some great summer reading participants. Bye. See you next time, my friends. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Lindsay, for the message. Hello.